Hello ladies and gents, in this video we will get started with the data binding concept in UI5 and we will talk about JSON models and property bindings. So far we have implemented the view and controller parts of the MVC pattern, now let's implement the model part as well. So far we have been manipulating our UI from the controller directly which is not the preferred method for the MVC pattern. Instead, we will now create a JSON model to hold our form input data. So let's begin by creating a new folder inside our web app folder named model to hold our model related files. And inside that we create a new file named models.js. And again, we begin with a UI5 module definition. So we say sap UI define and first our dependency array, next our callback function. And from our callback function, we return an object. Since we are going to use the JSON model, let's import that as a dependency. And it comes from SAP UI model, JSON slash JSON model with a capital M as well. Let's copy it into our callback function. And here we define a function, let's name it create input model, which we will use to create a new JSON model. And then in here we will simply return a new JSON model. And we pass in a data object, which will contain all the properties for our inputs. So first we have the name for our new product and I will set it to an empty string as default. Next we have a category, again an empty string by default. Price, the same. Currency I will skip since it's hard-coded. Then we have release date, which is a date object, so let's set it to null as default. And lastly we have the discontinued date, again null by default. Now let's save this and let's go back to our component.js file and import our new module. So we begin with the namespace as always, UI5 product list and then the model folder and the models file without the extension. We copy this one and inside our init method Let's create a new JSON model and set it to our component so it's available for the whole application. We say set the input model here and then we simply say this which points to our component and we call set model method. The first parameter will be the JSON model itself and which will come from this function here. So I copy this and I say models.createInputModel and the second parameter will be the name of our model and I will set it to input. Now two things to mention here. The JSON model is a client-side model and it's intended for small data sets only. So we will be using all data services as server-side data sources later on. And the second thing is models can be set to any managed object. So we can set a model to the component as we are doing here, in which case the model is available throughout the whole application. We can also set it to a view or even to a single control as well. And the more specific model always overrides the more general ones. So let's say we set another model also named input to our app view here. And that one since that one is more specific, it's going to override this one. But you shouldn't set multiple models with the same name anyway. Alright, now we have our JSON model. Now let's go ahead and bind our inputs to our new model. So we go to our fragment. And here first we have our input for the name. And we are going to bind the value property to our JSON model and the syntax is between curly braces. We begin with the name of our model, which is input, which we set right here. Next, we use a greater than sign for named models and then we use slash. 
since we are going to access a root level attribute from our model and the name of our attribute is just name we save next we have the category and for the category since it's a combo box the attribute we are going to bind will be the selected key attribute which will correspond to one of our keys here and again we use curly braces input greater than slash category next we have the price I will just copy this part from the name and this one is named price next let's see what we have okay currency hard-coded then just the date so let me also paste this and I see that we forgot to remove the placeholders for the dates so let's also do that quickly and for the release date let's copy this over and lastly we have the discontinued date now we save go back to our application it should still work as is let's test quickly dr pepper beverages one euro and some dates okay it's working but now since our value properties are bound to a model our json model let's set some defaults let's set the name as uh, bread for example and category as food so the key should be zero the selected key and also let's set the release date to the current date now if we save and go back when we want to create a new one now some of the values that we set are coming from our model instead now let's go back save and create again the dr pepper beverages one euros some dates and when we want to create a new one we see that the old ones the old values are still remaining so let's also fix that we go back and we go to our dialog here inside the fragment and we are going to use an event named after close which will be triggered you guessed it after the dialog is closed let's name it on after close dialog and now we implement it in our app controller and here what we can do is we can access our model from our component file and then manipulate the object of our model or another way an easier way is we can just create a fresh model and then set it on the component let's go with the second one so we say this again which refers to our controller file here then we say get owner component which returns our component file then we say set model and again we are going to set the same model so we have to import our model module here models module so ui5 product list model slash models and in here where were we yes here we call models dot create input model to get a fresh json model and then set it with the name input let's go back try again bread food two euros some random dates and if you want to create a second one we get a fresh model dr pepper beverages one euro and some dates 
so it works and our deletion also works. Now well, that would be all for this video and see you in the next one.